Welcome to the Clutch Tech Support Clutch Installation Lab. I'm at the demonstration bench and I've got a master cylinder, a line, and a slave cylinder set up. And we're going to use a process called reverse fluid injection. It has a reservoir with brake fluid in it, tubing, a hand operated pump, and another piece of tubing and a fitting that attaches to the bleed screw on the bottom of the system. Now as I set this up, all I'm going to do is actually pump fluid in from the bottom up. So it's going to push the air out the top. That's what air wants to do is go up. So let's get this reverse fluid injection system set up and I'll show you how we use it to bleed a clutch hydraulic release system. Please follow the manufacturer's instructions for your particular system that you're using. I've already loosened the bleed screw with a wrench. I'm going to open it up just a little bit and attach the fitting. The tool is going to pull fluid out of the reservoir as I pump the handle and inject just fluid into the system. So we'll be watching for fluid level to rise in the reservoir, indicating that the system is bled. And there we've got fluid coming up in the reservoir. Then close the bleed screw and check to make sure the system is bled. Well, I think you can see reverse fluid injection bleeding certainly can make a tough job pretty easy. And there are some applications where a process like this is just about the only way to do it. If you have any questions about a clutch hydraulic release system, a clutch, or a flywheel, please call our Clutch Tech Support toll-free hotline. Please check your vehicle's owner's manual for specifications on the correct fluid to use in your clutch hydraulic release system. Using the wrong fluid, such as power steering fluid, motor oil, transmission fluid, will damage the internal seals of your hydraulic system components.